today I'm in our master bedroom and it's a pretty like minimal, neutral, cozy environment. Uh, something that I gravitate towards, uh, especially in bedrooms. I just like to keep it simple and minimal and relaxing. So I thought today I would share with you my tips for achieving this type of look. So probably the most obvious tip for creating a neutral room is to choose a neutral color palette. For me, that is gonna be kind of like crisp, bright whites, uh, not too cold, not too warm. Um, I really love grays, um, kind of like those warmer gray tones. Uh, the walls in here are Classic Gray by Benjamin Moore, and it's one of my absolute favorite warm grays that doesn't feel essentially too gray or too white. It gives it like a little bit of depth in the room because we have a lot of white going on, which I really like. It keeps it nice and bright and fresh. I also like in a really bright, you know, white neutral environment to add some depth with wood tones. Um, I personally like kind of really muted greens. It kind of gives me like an earthy vibe as well as black accents and that kind of helps to ground the space. I think one of the most important elements when you're creating a neutral room is to add a lot of textures because if you have all very similar colors and tones in a room, the way to really break that up is with texture. So in this room, I have uh, linen bedding, kind of like a linen type of blend curtains, and then the headboard is more of like a kind of like canvas material, and then the rug has its own, you know, like essentially rug carpet texture to it. And then we have wood tones in the dresser and various items throughout the space as well as pottery. I really like to introduce pottery into a space because it, it really adds a lot of texture and depth in my opinion. So like the planters or um, like a little candle in a beautiful pottery dish, I think really adds some character and texture to a space. I really like having uh, linen bedding because to me it adds a really relaxed vibe but it still kind of feels polished um, but it can get wrinkly and still look beautiful in a space. This bedding is from Primary Goods. It's kind of cool because the fitted sheet and the duvet like snap together which makes it really easy to like make our bed in the morning <laughs> and we're just not I, I want to make my bed every day, but I don't make my bed every day, but something like this makes it so much easier. And I just think that linen is a really great textural element to add to a bedroom or really any space. A lot of times when people think like texture and layering in a bedroom, it's like pillows and blankets. And don't get me wrong, I think they are totally beautiful and I think it looks really pretty in photos and things like that but for me on a daily basis in our bedroom i like to keep the bedding like super minimal and i just keep the bedding or like the blankets and the pillows that we actually use but something that would be really nice um, to kind of visually break up this big white bed would be like a lumbar pillow <laughs> i had a lumbar pillow in here for a while and it just always like it just literally laid on the floor all the time we never really like totally made the bed every day. So I kind of nixed the lumbar pillow, but another way to do it would be um, you could add some depth in the actual pillows. Joel and I each have two pillows, so you could add a different uh, pattern and kind of texture to one of the pillowcases to kind of add more depth. For me, I just like to keep it simple, all white, even though it makes for a very big, white, fluffy bed in the room. It's kind of like my thing. I like it. It's minimal um, and it keeps it very like simple and neutral. And it's just like less stuff to deal with every day or on a daily basis. I really love to mix metals. Two of my favorite metals to mix are like a matte black and a warm brass. So in this room, our curtain rods are um, matte black. We have a round um, brass trimmed mirror above the dresser, the hard round the dresser is black, the light is black, and then our sconces are the mix of the two. Black metal to me really kind of grounds a space where brass really adds a lot of warmth to a space and I think the combination of those two is really pretty and it is done through the whole of my house. <laughs> 
Generally, I'd recommend keeping your metal mixture to only like two metals. Um, when you get a little bit more than that, it can get a little like too much. So just keep it to like two metals that you mix. So when designing a neutral space, it's really important to add warmth back into it, especially in a room like this where it's a lot of whites and grays. So great ways to add a lot of warmth um, and also like texture to a space are plants. I absolutely love plants. I feel like a room does not feel complete without plants and curtains. And so you see a lot of them in my house. I have um, actually three in this room. So I have each nightstand and then I have one on our dresser. Another thing you could do if it's not like plants is maybe just some greenery in a vase or fresh flowers. I really like to do that um, kind of in like the summertime and stuff. It's kind of add that warmth and texture to a space with plants. Plus it's like great for your house and the air quality and it just like makes a room feel better. Another really important element to creating a cozy, uh, warm, space, especially in a bedroom, is going to be lighting. I have, let's see, the overhead light in here. I have our sconces as a light. And then I have a Himalayan sea salt lamp on our dresser. And it's amazing how changing the lighting really changes the mood in your room and either makes it feel like, you know, all lights on, you know, the overhead lights on, it's like day going regular day, that type of thing, or, you know, I pop on just the Himalayan salt lamp and it's really like relaxing and soothing and makes it easier for me to kind of like settle down and go to bed. So lighting is an amazing way to really add coziness to a space, especially a bedroom. Plus it's nice to kind of create some task lighting, like the sconces over our bed are, you know, for reading in bed or something like that. And you just want like a little bit of light right on your side. That's a great way to add it with some task lighting, either a sconce or a table lamp or something like that next to each person's side of the bed. So when you're creating a neutral, minimal type of room, again, something that's really important besides like adding all these textures and lighting elements and all the other things that we covered is to add some personality to the space because it can turn very stark and very cold quickly if you don't have some like infusion of actual humans that live in the space. So for me, I really like to frame um, photos that we've taken from our trips. I have some photos from our wedding. I have some photos from other uh, trips that I've taken. Uh, if you see above the actual bed in our room, we have a funny long skinny window that is not centered on the wall, which drove me crazy when we first moved in. And my solution to that was kind of hanging a few photos to really balance out that space of the, of the bed. And so I added some personality with those photos. Another way to add personality is to hang some kind of unusual items or like sculptural pieces on your wall. We have a ukulele hung on the wall, which I used to know how to play a song on there somewhere over the rainbow. I don't know anymore how to do it, but uh, I really should dust that thing off and actually use it and not just display it. But something like that can add um, just some depth and personality and it's a very like sculptural piece on the wall versus like square 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 and then another great way to add texture and doubles as like a functional thing is some sort of wall um, hanging for hats i'm a huge hat person and if you are this is like a great way to either display them you know make them easily accessible so it's like acts as a function and then Mostly hats are made of like really cool textures. So I have some woven hats, I have like a felt hat um, and hanging them up, it keeps them right there, easily accessible for me, right by my closet, but it also adds a lot of warmth and texture and personality to the space. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed a look into our master bedroom as well as learning kind of how I achieve this type of minimal, neutral type of space. If you liked the video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My husband and I bought this home about three years ago, I think it is now, and we've essentially been 
DIY renovating it for the last like three years and I have a lot of other videos of like our different uh, tours of our house like our kitchen tour our living room and dining room tour uh, we recently remodeled our entire basement which was amazing and a lot of work <laughs> but still awesome uh, that you can see in one of my more recent videos too so please subscribe if you like this video give it a thumbs up thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video